Now it's time to see what's cooking with Brenda and United Supermarkets. Hello everyone. All right. It's apple season. I can't stop talking about it. I think it's one of my favorite. Well, I say that every season uh, that we get new produce. Maybe it's just getting something new. So right now we have uh, apples in the stores that taste amazing by themselves and uh, they're on sale by the way. So those honey crisp apples that everyone really tends to like are coming from right here in Texas, just from up the street by the way. So um, I love to eat them just by themselves, but I'm gonna do something else. I love apple cake. We really like it in my house, but of course I had to find some way to do it with a twist. So we're gonna make a flourless apple cake and you do it all in the blender. So what I have in here are two cups of oatmeal. So um, I already put it in here and I blended it up to kind of make an oat flour, if you will. So it doesn't use wheat flour, we're using oat flour. Now, I took three probably medium sized of the apples and you can use whatever variety you like. Um, I just had lots of the Honeycrisp in there. Um, so, you know, sometimes you buy them and your eyes are bigger than your belly and you buy more than you can eat. And so this is a great way to use up some of those apples because we don't want those good things to go to waste. Okay, so we have that. And then I also have in here my honey, which I already pre-measured. And it is about a quarter cup of honey. This is the raw honey that's also local. So we're gonna use that right there. And by the way, a little tip is to spray that. I sprayed my pan uh, before I did this and when I spray that, I also spray the inside of the measuring cup so that your honey just slides right out of there. Okay, so we have that. We have two eggs that we need to put in here and I'm just using um, some of the organic eggs uh, for this. So we're gonna put two in there and then I like to have a rag or wash my hands in between. So be careful with that. And then it's simple. Then we need teaspoon of vanilla, but actually I'm going to do my dry ingredients first. So baking soda, you need a teaspoon. So super simple. And then cinnamon, because what's apples without cinnamon? And we are going to add, well, I can't stick my whole spoon in there, so we'll just pour some in there. Oops, a little too much. Put the rest back in. And then we're going to use half a teaspoon of salt for a little bit of extra flavor. And then vanilla. So a teaspoon of vanilla, and that's it. That's all it takes. We didn't have to put lots of oil or anything like that. So we're gonna stick it in the blender, and you are gonna blend it up. Okay, so the trick is, you, I already did the flour, the oat flour, and you don't wanna have to blend it more than you need to, because because it'll actually cook the oats um, from the heat of the, um, just the friction. So I like to leave a little bit of apple chunks in there. Now remember you can also add walnuts in here if you would like, and I would just stir that in um, in the end. So I'm gonna put that in my pan. I've got the oven preheated to 350, and you're gonna stick it in the oven for about 30 minutes. Okay, so I've got that there. And I'm gonna get it all in there. Now the great thing about this is it's good for a snack, but it is also good for breakfast. Um, or I'm gonna show you one more thing that I like. Okay, let's do a little magic TV. And I've got my bread and I've got some peanut butter. And I just melted the peanut butter and you drizzle it right over. So it's kinda of like apples and peanut butter. Yum, enjoy, thanks for watching. Looks great and easy, Brenda. And